So today I'll be showing you how I would edit my videos using our new creation video editor app. If you've not downloaded this or tried it out, do check it out. We do have a three day free trial. So any project you create will appear within this home screen. Um, at the top end, we've got our graphics. And then at the top right, with our discovery page where you can access your graphics. Ultimately, you'll be able to copy and paste graphics, use them um, however you'd like, and also figure or find other creators in this page. First things first, we wanna create our set of graphics. So ultimately, once we create these, we can always repurpose them for future projects. So today I'll be taking you through a last set pull down for those that might not know how to do a lot pull down Ultimately, the graphics that I'm going for will demonstrate or illustrate the muscles which are utilized within this movement. So first thing first, you've got your um, color selector or your color palette. Ultimately, we can upload custom color palettes, which you can download for free from the website. As you can see, the color palette has changed. And then this is where the fun begins. Right, so what I like to do is always find a nice dark uh, background color for the body and then for the foreground or for the general muscle groups, a slightly lighter color. This would make sense in a second, just like that to create a little bit of contrast. If we press and hold the color select, we can actually change the opacity, which will make the background see-through. And then this is where we can get creative with our graphics. So the outline, ideally you want a slightly lighter color, or you can go dark if you want, but it just means that all the details will get lost. So let's go for a nice light color, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom. I like to bring the outline thickness of the body almost close to zero and then bring the muscle outline thickness about 10%. And then this is where we can actually specify the muscle groups that are being used. We can either press and hold and customize the color, or we can choose the colors from the color palette. So the second you select whichever muscle group you wanna change, you can change the color. So we'll just keep it old school, go for a white, and then find the terrace muscle groups, terrace minor, Terrace major. So what I like to do also is use different colors to demonstrate or to illustrate primary muscle groups and secondary muscle groups. So terrace minor wouldn't really be the primary muscle group, although they are engaged in the movement. So I did, I'll choose something a little bit less bold. So it almost creates this 3D look and feel to the video. And then that's pretty much it. Then that's done for this specific movement. And then now your graphics are saved into your library. And then when you click next, you can select your footage just like that. And then first thing first that I'll always, always, always do is I always make sure that I add a gradient to my video. Before I do that, turn off the audio. So go to your gradient panel. Uh, today we're going for a black gradient. The purpose of this is it separates the video and the graphics that you're adding and ultimately creates depth within the video so the graphics don't get lost in the footage. And then we go ahead and add our graphics. So we're gonna go to the rear and select the, um, the set of graphics that we made, which is this one. And then we're gonna scale that. I usually go for the bottom left Ideally, we want it to be slightly above, quite high. The reason for this is when you post a reel or a TikTok, there's always that information at the bottom of the screen. So you don't want your graphics to go be like below that line. So I like to go fairly high up. And then we're doing a lat pull down. So we go to text design. Let's say lat, lat pull down, just like that. And then we can ultimately change the color of this, or we can change the layout or the kind of style which we want, right? You can get creative. Usually, 
you can select in between different variants. So I'm gonna go for this. Mm, let's see what the options we have. So let's go back to this. Uh, I like this plain one. And then select the A and then drag this down. You know, I, I want it to stand out. And then ultimately what we do is we tap and rescale the graphic. And then we're gonna put this slightly behind the graphic and press move to front which is the arrow pointing up. As you can see, it's, it's barely legible. So let's move the graphic. Let's just go back here. Move that to the side. Have that there. Let's have it maybe just here. So now we've got the name of the movement. Now let's add the reps and sets. So if we go to stickers, and then go to the bicep curl emoji. So let's look for a, let's go for three to four sets. All right, so ultimately you can decide where you wanna put this. Usually I would go for putting it below here, but for this tutorial, I want it up at the top. And then what I'm gonna do is go back into my editor, see if I can find something cool to make the graphic stand out. Uh, hmm, what can we do? We can get creative here. So if I use this block, ultimately I can cheat and add that here, which I think is quite creative. Let me know what you think. And then boom, we have our exercise video and then if we want to add a little bit of sharp into the video we just dial that out nothing too crazy seven percent and then if we want to change the aspect ratio we can always do that but it just means that we might have to move around with the orientation of everything so let's go back for portrait because this is a real and then save and just like that we've got a killer workout real which you can post for your fellow community to follow. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions you have, do let me know below. Uh, ultimately, do look out for all the updates that we're dropping. We've got the Gym Graphic V3 dropping soon and plenty more cool effects and tools to play with. Catch you in the next one.